Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Max and in this video I wanted to take a look at how to convert Sony S-Log footage into something that pretty closely resembles the Aria Alexa. So I have a quick clip here and it's just me sitting, nothing special. Uh, this is in S-Log out of my A7R2, just with the kit lens. And what we can do is flip on the, uh, the color correction, color grading that I've done here and we can see just how big of a transformation that is from S-Log into what essentially looks similar to an Aria Alexa. So how exactly do we get here? Well, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, I found these LUTs uh, by a guy named Joel, who's a director and cinematographer, and they're called the Phantom LUTs. And I've heard a couple people talk about them and I was really curious, so I decided to buy into the hype, and I am so glad that I did. These LUTs are seriously underrated and underpriced in my opinion. Um, you can get the, the whole set for 70 bucks. There's some coupon codes floating around there to get $15 off of that, but it is totally worth every penny of it. But anyways, once you go ahead and purchase those, get those downloaded, and import them into whatever editor you use. I happen to use DaVinci Resolve, uh, but you can do this in Premiere, you can do this in Final Cut, or you know whatever else you're using. So I've got a couple of fresh clips here where I wanted to show you exactly how I'm doing this in DaVinci. You'll follow the same steps no matter what program you're using. Um, it just might look a little bit different. I know to people who haven't seen it before, DaVinci Resolve looks kind of intimidating, but um, really, it's the, the same set of tools as something like Lumetric Color in Premiere or, uh, you know, the color grading tools in Final Cut. So the first thing that I'm going to start off by doing in DaVinci is creating a second node. So I have two here. And again, if you're using another editor, basically nodes in DaVinci are, you can think of them like layers. Um, they, they work really similarly. And then what I'm going to do is on the second, uh, the second node here, I'm going to go ahead and drop the airy s-log neutral LUT, and you can see already right off the bat we haven't done anything and the image looks a thousand times better it's got you know some signature characteristics from the airy like super soft highlight roll off and the sort of green tint to the shadows that look super super nice uh, but it's also got like a really soft warm feel to it it's i don't know how he does it it's magic i've you know made quite a few luts myself uh but yeah nothing has come even remotely close to how good this looks. Um, but it is a little bit bright for my for my taste, so I'm gonna go to this first layer here, this first node, and then I'm just gonna grab the curves right in the middle, and I'm just gonna pull down a little bit. And honestly, that's, that's it. That, that's all you have to do. Um, here's the before, here's the after. It just transforms your footage in a way that, you know, is super, super easy to do. And the beauty of this setup is that if you get both the film and the and the regular LUT packs, you know, you get five each. And so you can just take this now, the second node here, and drop on whatever LUT that you want. So boom, we've changed the look. Grab this one, toss it on. Uh, you can go to the film ones here, grab one of these, and it's it's that easy. It's super simple to do. Uh, you can get a bunch of really interesting, creative looks from it. Um, and they're all sort of inspired by the color science of Aerie. So let's try this again on another clip here. We've got a quick car clip. Uh, this is the after, this is the before. You can see again, it's got that really nice, soft, warm sort of look to it. Nice, soft highlight roll off. The colors really pop, like the reds uh, and the greens here, but you can also see the brick just looks super nice. The you know slight, slight teal green look to these windows and brick. Um, all of it is just super well balanced. So I'm going to show you how I did the the grading on this one. Again, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to create a second node and drop on the neutral LUT. And then I'm going to come to the first one here and bring down my exposure just a little bit, and then just sort of tweak the curves. However you know, however looks nice. And then I think I might bring the tint down just a little bit and the temperature up a little. And there you go. 
there's your before, there's your after. It was, you know, 15, 20 seconds worth of color grading and you get just an amazing image out of it. Um, I seriously can't recommend these enough. Every piece of footage that I've dropped these on has just, it looked incredible. Now there are going to be, you know, edge cases and things like that where it doesn't work out perfectly and that's just the reality of working with LUTs in general. Uh, all footage is different so there's never going to be a sort of turnkey solution that works every single time. You know, your exposure might be off or the colors in the scene might not be flattering, you know, whatever it might be. Um, most of these LUTs are pretty reasonable and you can use them at 100% and that's actually what Joel recommends uh, when you get the sort of readme file. Um, is to just use everything at 100%. Uh, I found myself a couple times just toning it back down to like 80% or so, but um, you know, a lot of LUTs that I use and even ones that I make myself, um, you know, I'll, br I'll bring them down to, you know, 20, 30% sometimes. Uh, but these, these have been almost spot on every single time. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I hope this helped, uh, and I hope you can translate this into whatever editor you're using. Uh, and I'm also going to use this as a, a quick plug for DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't tried the software yet, it's amazing. Uh, you know, every aspect of this has been better for me than Premiere since I switched. Uh, it's been faster, it crashes less. It's never crashed, actually. Um, you know, the color grading tools are just amazing. They're super high end, but also pretty easy to learn. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> rant over, plug over. I hope you guys learned something new and interesting in this video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, and sticking around for some more good content. We'll see you later.